Welcome everyone. This is a one hour power flow from Funky Buddha virtually. Glad you're here. Um, my name is Lori and um, just make sure you have everything that you need within arm's reach. If you like any um, you know, pieces, I always have a block near me and uh, if not a strap, maybe a small towel to use as a strap. Um, grab what you have. If you don't have those things, um, something similar is great. All right, we are gonna start today in child's pose. So bring your knees out to the edges of your mat. Toes together and stretch your arms overhead and rest your forehead into the floor. And if it doesn't meet the floor, place something underneath it so you're comfortable here. And then just begin to breathe deeply through your nose with control that ujjayi breath, a little bit of that whisper quality. So you're hearing your inhales, the pause when you're full, and then all of your exhale, that empty pause. And then uh, try a little gentle movement. Roll your forehead right to left. Maybe press down and out with your right knee as you do that and then your left. And then reach out a little further, walk your fingertips forward and just come onto your fingerprints, being a little more stretch through your upper arms and shoulders, upper back. Good. And then just one more breath like this, one deep breath in and out. And then when you're done with that, make your way to down dog. Notice your hands, keep your fingers nice and wide. Grip with your fingerprints. And then pull up high through your navel as you push the floor away. Get that length through your spine. Relax your neck. Feels good to move it around. Go right to left or front to back. Maybe stretch your jaw open wide. You wanna bring life to your body in this moment. Whatever you've been doing, maybe you've been working at a desk, maybe you've been um, you know, scrolling. <laughs> we all get into that habit of scrolling on our phones, um, sometimes mindlessly. Now, I want you to be really purposeful with your attention, with your breathing and with your body awareness. Now bring your feet a little closer together at the back of your mat. Lift your right leg to the sky and take a full breath in as you do that. Nice big breath, push the floor away. Okay, now bend at your knee and stack your right hip over your left. Good, now push down into your standing heel and lift your inseam just a bit higher. Good. One more final full breath in and then come back to downward facing dog. Same thing left side, lift your leg up high. Take a breath in as you do that. Bend at your knee and open up. And again, root down into whatever's touching the floor, push down there and lift your inner knee a little bit higher. Nice. And your final breath here. Step to the top of your mat and take ragdoll. Feet are hip-width apart, soft knees. Grab opposite elbow and let your torso hang over your thighs.
Interlace your fingers at your low back. Extend your arms out high and then forward. Dip your right shoulder towards the center of your mat, a little twist. And then switch left shoulder. Come back to center, release your bind and bow forward. Take a halfway lift, breathe in, reach arms back like airplane arms. Bow forward and exhale. Halfway lift, inhale your heart forward, reach your arms back. Bow forward, exhale. This time rise all the way up, reach your arms up. Palms face each other, look up. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Bow, let it go. Rise, root into your feet, hug your legs in, reach tall. Bow forward, exhale all the way. Halfway lift. Step back to high plank position. Hands under your shoulders, fingers wide. Gonna notice your core, lift your navel up and in. Push your tailbone towards your heels. Firm up your thighs. Hug to midline with your thumbs. Keep your gaze just over your mat. So the back of your neck extends nice and long. And now shift forward two inches. Chaturanga, you can do this from your knees or from a high plank position. Upward facing dog, push into the floor, heart high. Downward facing dog, let that go. Full breath in. Breathe it all out. Inhale long. Exhale all the way. Last breath, set up to move forward. I like to shorten my down dog just a bit. Shoulders over wrists and then bend your knees. Step or hop forward, lift halfway with your inhale. Bow empty. Rise all the way. Bow forward, empty out. Halfway lift, fill your lungs, get that length through your spine. High plank, exhale, get power stance in your body. Shift forward on your inhale. Chaturanga, pause at empty there. Upward dog, breathe in, shoulders back. Downward facing dog, exhale all the way. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale, heels up, get ready. Step or hop forward, lift halfway up. And bow all the way. Rise, fill and stretch. Bow, empty out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, taking your time to integrate before you move into that low plank position. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale all the way. Breathe in. Let that all go. Push forward through your hands. Inhale. And press your heels heavy towards your mat. Now bring them up high with this breath. Between your hands, step or hop forward, lift halfway up. Bow forward. And now rise all the way up. Take chair pose. Push into your heels and hug your inner thighs towards each other. Upper arms by your ears. And now as you exhale, sink your hips back, grounding into your heels. 
Breathe in, get that length through your spine and arms. Breathe out, ground down. Take one more breath here, forward fold, let that go. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, your variation of Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out all the way. Take your right leg to the sky. Step forward for warrior one. Inhale up. And then bring your hands to your hips. Bring your front knee forward so it's over your ankle. Push into your right big toe mound and draw your knee towards your pinky toe. Now firm up your back thigh. Press into the pinky blade of your back foot. Good. Now reach your arms up overhead. Open up warrior two. Now take your front heel up way high and dip your knee a little more further, another inch or so. Full breath in, lift your heart, keep that front heel high. Breathe it all out. Take another round of breath. As you exhale, settle your heel back to the mat. Reverse your warrior, reach up, open your right rib cage. Chaturanga or meet in downward facing dog. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale all the way. Left side, lift your leg up high. And take it forward, warrior one. Anchor into both feet as you rise. Hands to hips again. And then just take the time to build a strong base from the ground up. Aligning your joints and your front knee and ankle. Firm up your thighs. And then reach your arms overhead. Open up warrior two. And then lift your front heel. Bring your front knee forward again. Really good. High through your center of your chest. Stay low in your hip. Yeah, feel that front quad working, or quads, I should say. As you exhale, lower your front heel again. Reverse your warrior, reach up. Chaturanga or downward facing dog as you exhale. Control your exhale. Up dog. Down dog, a big release. Three breaths. Heels up with your last inhale, setting yourself up to move forward. Empty out, engage your core muscles. Step or hop forward, lift halfway up. Good, bow forward, release. Rise. Be kind of close together, take chair pose. First weight is in your heels. Hip points and ribs draw inward towards each other. Nice and strong through your core, hips lower. Now bring your heels up, both of them. Hug to midline, breathe in, breathe out. Take another round of breath, sink your hips just a touch lower. Final inhale, forward fold, let that go. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga or downward facing dog. Inhale. Down dog is your exhale. Right leg to the sky. Step it forward for warrior one, back heel down, rise. Warrior two, lift your front heel high. Stay and exhale, bring your knee forward. Inhale, exhale all the way. One more breath in, lower your heel again with your exhale. Reverse warrior, chaturanga or downward facing dog. Inhale, good, downward facing dog, exhale. Left side, heel high. Step to warrior one. 
reach up. Warrior two, bring your front heel high, front knee forward an inch, breathe in, stay and breathe out. Another full round like this. Lower your front heel, reverse warrior, and chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, big release. Three breaths here. Two breaths. Pike up tiptoes, eyes forward, get ready. Step or hop, lift halfway. Bow it out. Rise all the way. Take chair pose, be close together. Breathe in. Sink to power chair, hips way back. Chest forward, tailbone back. Now lift your heels up high. Keep reaching forward. Imagine there's a block between your palms. Breathe in, lift that block an inch higher. Keep your heels high. Take in one more breath. Forward fold, let that go. Half lift. And chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg high, breathe in. Step forward, warrior one. Arms up. Warrior two. Front heel high. Hips lower, front knee forward. Full breath in. Smooth the exhale out. Take another inhale. Lower your front heel to the floor. Now listen, reverse your warrior, open your right rib cage, move into half moon, push off your back foot, bring your right hand to a block or a water bottle. or something just a little bit taller to ground your hands. Push out through your back heel, reach your left arm to the sky, firm up your lifted thigh, keep a bend in your standing knee. Now bend your lifted knee reach for a bind. Maybe you can grab onto your ankle. If you have that, push your knee back and then push your foot into your hand, broaden through your chest. Really big breath here. Take in one more breath, expand open, release and bow forward. Take a halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward dog, shoulders back, downward facing dog. Exhale all the way. Really good. Take your left leg to the sky. Big step forward for warrior one. Come on up, reach tall. Open up warrior two. Lift your front heel up. Bring your front knee forward. Tall breath, lift through the center of your chest, shoulders away from your ears. Take in another breath and then lower your front heel back down. And now reverse warrior, move into half moon. Push off your back foot, ground down, left side grounded, right side opens up. First, you're just working on stability, right? And then you're focusing on strength and length. Get long, crown to heel, broad through your chest. Really nice, looking good. Now bend your lifted knee and take a bind. And don't worry if that bind is out of reach and you're really tippy feeling, then just bend your knee at a 90 degree angle. Good, hip over hip. And then if you don't have the bind, just push the heel behind you a little more to get a deeper stretch through your quad. 
And if you have the bind, work it. Really push your foot into your hand. Take another giant breath here. And then release that, bow forward, nice, really good. Take a halfway lift, fill your lungs up. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Deep cleansing breath. Let it all out. Take your right leg to the sky. Bring your knee to your left elbow, shift your shoulders forward. Heel to the sky, breathe in. Knee to right elbow. Heel high. Step wide for crescent lunge. Come up right. Back heel high. A little bend in your back knee. Lift up through your hip points. And then hug your inner thighs towards each other. Keep this length through your spine and take an open arm twist to the right. And in seams hug in. Take this into a rotating twist. Your back hand goes around your left side. Front hand high. Okay, now reach tall as you breathe in. Look towards the back of your mat as you breathe out. Get length. Rotate. Two more here. Breathe in. Breathe it all out. Final breath. Stay for the exhale. Come back through center. Open to warrior two. Sink your hips low, front knee forward. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle, right hand to the floor to a block inside your front foot or elbow to knee. And pull your chest forward, anchor to, into your back foot and press your tailbone back. A nice big breath. Always creating length as you inhale and then rotation, chest open towards the ceiling. Breathe in length and rotate. And helpful if you put a little bend in your top arm, rotate your left shoulder back. Reach for one more breath. Hands to the floor, high plank feet together at the back of your mat. Take one big breath here and then roll onto your right hand for side plank. Hips high, shoulder blades together. Flex your feet, maybe float your top foot up. Deep breath. Stay and exhale. One more inhale. Downward facing dog. Cleansing breath. Pull your navel up and in toward your spine. Bring your left leg to the sky. Knee crosses over to right elbow. Left leg to the sky. Knee to left elbow. Shift forward. Heel high, step to crescent lunge. Come up right. Bend your back knee, lift that back heel high. Lift up through your hip points, belly button in. Reach tall, hug your legs towards each other. Take the open arm twist to the left. Breathe deeply, twist your shoulders. Good, now take it into that full rotating twist. Back arm around, front arm high. Good, as you inhale, lengthen your right side. As you exhale, rotate. Nice steady breath in and out through your nose. Two more here, just like that. Grow a little bit into your twist. Another full round of breath. Your exhale is your deepest rotation. Good, come back through center. And then open up warrior two. Hips low, front knee open, reverse warrior. Extended side angle, your variation. Good. Notice breath again, rebuild this pose, this shape. 
Always creating length as you inhale and then grounding down and rotating with your exhale. Notice what's going on. Really good, breathe deeply. Two more breaths here. Good, your final inhale and then move into high plank position. Feet are together at the back of your mat. Really squeeze your legs into each other. Take a breath in and then roll onto your left hand for side plank. Beautiful, now hips up high, press through your heels. So your legs, your thighs firing firmly. Good, now broaden through your shoulders, collarbones, upper back nice and strong. Float that top leg, do something fun. Take one more deep breath in. Downward facing dog as your exhale. Nicely done, guys. Breathe here. Take another cleansing breath. Pike up, tiptoes. Look forward. Step or hop to your hands, lift halfway up. Bow forward. Rise all the way up. Standing leg raise, right side. Grab your right knee, bend your standing knee. Core container nice and strong, open up. You can grab your big toe if you wanna to extend your leg. Stretch your left arm out to the side. And then if you feel steady, gaze over your left thumb. Breath, super important here. Nice smooth inhales and exhales. And now take in one more breath. Eagle, cross your right leg over your left, right arm under your left. Elbows at shoulder height. And take a smooth breath in. Sink your hips a little bit deeper. Breathe in. Sink into your exhale. Another full round. All the air out. Unwind, feet together, reach up tall. Standing leg raise left side. Grab your knee. Core container strong, lifted foot flexed, open up. Nice. Taller, maybe even let go of your knee. Those of you holding your toe, maybe not so much let go, right? <laughs> and take another breath in. Clear the breath out. Final inhale here. Eagle, left leg over. Add left arm under. Press your forearms together. Smooth your breath out. Still lengthening spine as you breathe in. Sink your hips as you breathe out. Smooth breath. Stay for one more round of breath. And then feet together, unwind, stretch that out. Bow forward, let that go. Nice, halfway lift, pull your heart forward. And chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg to the sky. Step it forward, warrior one. Rise up. Warrior two. Reverse and straighten out your front knee. And take triangle, reach forward, pull your spine nice and long. Then bring your right hand to your shin, right shin, or a block outside your right shin. Tailbone toward your back heel. And now we check in with our knees. Are we locked in? Can you soften there? And then same thing, repeat, repeat. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. 
Rotate your top shoulder back as you exhale. Length comes all the way through the base of your skull. Keep going. Reach for one more breath and then move into pyramid. You bring your left hand to the floor. Step your back foot forward and wide. Wide stance, both feet firmly grounded, your heels. Now pull back, take your right hand and pull your right hip crease back. Sink your chest over your right knee. Continue to do that. Pull back through your right hip crease. Sink your chest deeper. Smooth breath. Take another round. With your inhale, lift halfway up. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pause there. Downward facing dog. Left leg high. Big step to warrior one, ground down, come up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, stretch out your front leg. Triangle, long spine, long through your left rib cage. Ground your left hand. Tailbone back, chest forward. Soften knees just a bit. And then push into both feet, hug in. Reach, extend through the base of your skull, rotate your top shoulder back. Deep breath. Good, two more. Heart towards the ceiling. I'll reach for one more big breath, big, big stretch. And then step into pyramid. Back foot forward and wide. Ground your heels. If your hands don't comfortably meet the floor, take them to a block in front of your left foot. And then pull back through your left hip crease. Draw forward through your chest. And nice stretch all through the back of your left leg. Breathe deeply. And growing with each round of breath. Awareness on what muscles are working, what muscles are stretching. Two more breaths here. Now with your inhale, pull your chest forward to halfway lift and then step back, chaturanga, or we'll meet in down dog. Inhale up, downward facing dog, exhale. Cleansing breath, push back through the center of your chest. Come forward into high plank, lower to your belly, setting up right away for locus, arms back, Legs squeeze together, empty out all the way and come up with your inhale. Lift the center of your chest. Good, keep the back of your neck nice and long. Slight tuck of the chin, crown of your head forward. Good, now notice your thighs, activate. Squeeze right underneath your butt cheeks. Good, think of lengthening your whole body as you breathe. Little bit of bend to your elbows. Okay, now one more big breath, squeeze your shoulder blades together, release and bow, um, not bow, release. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do that one more time. Set yourself up with this breath, locus with your next inhale. Come on up, really good. Full breath cycles, active back body, squeeze, squeeze, breathe deeply, good, breathe out. Take another round, lifting a little more forward through your heart. Now lift your thighs an inch higher. So good, take one final breath here. Release, come down, plant your hands for upward facing dog. Rise with your inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. 
cleansing breath. Come to tiptoes. Bend your knees, look forward. Hop through your hands. Come onto your back, set up for bridge. If you have a block, grab it. If you have a towel that's rolled up, grab it. Something that you can slide in between your thighs, squeeze onto that. And now press the low back, low little arch of your low back. Push that down into the floor. Squeeze your block. And then with your next inhale, push into your heels and lift your hips up for bridge. Bring your right shoulder, then your left shoulder underneath you. Press into your heels, lift your heart a little bit higher. Squeeze your block. Good, smooth breath. Keep squeezing, activate your inseams, squeeze, squeeze tight. Two more breaths. And take your final breath in, come on down. Set your block to the side. A smooth breath in and out. And then set yourself up for bridge or wheel. We're gonna do two more back bends. Ground down and rise with your next breath in. Keep your heart high. Notice your feet. Are they just kind of there supporting you or are they actively supporting you? Like here, I'm just, they're there, but pushing into the floor is gonna give you so much more opening through your hips and heart. So much more flexibility through your spine. Good, ground, use the ground. Heart expands as well. Two more breaths. Take your final breath and then make your way down to rest. Deepen your breath with this rest. Set yourself up for one more back bend. Empty out. Rise up with your next breath. Keep breathing. Purposeful, deep breaths. Notice your legs. Notice awareness on your legs, on your thighs. Imagine that block still there, hug to midline. Two more breaths. A final inhale and then lower down. Rest in recline butterfly, feet together, knees wide. Make your next inhale nice and long. Pause at the top, count to three, and then let the air out all the way to the bottom of your breath. And then do that one more time. Fill up, maybe count to five this time before you exhale. Take both knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, rock right to left. And then bring both knees all the way over to the right for a spinal twist. Cactus your left arm and look over your left shoulder. Your right hand can guide your top knee down and then push your left hip, your top hip, towards the front of your mat. Good. 
Come back to center, squeeze your knees in again. Twist left, look right. Come back to center. Make your way up and back into downward facing dog. And take your right leg to the sky. And step it forward outside your right pinky for lizard. You'll lower your back knee. Wiggle your right foot forward until your knee is over or your ankle is under your knee. And then wiggle your back knee as far back as it'll go. Plug into the big toe mound on your right foot. And then bring your forearms down. If they don't comfortably meet the floor or even one of them, your right one might be a little further away. You can always place a block underneath one or both forearms or a towel or a pillow, whatever you've got. Press yourself up to tall arms and then move into either half splits or full splits. So half, you're gonna pull your hips back to align with your back knee. Some front leg stretches out and then bow over your right knee, stretching the back side of your right leg. One more deep breath here. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. And now left side, lizard. Go wide in your stance, front to back. Stack your joints on your left leg. Lower down, settle in. And take the time to check in with all your different parts, right? All, everything that's touching the floor. Start with your right, I'm sorry, your left foot, your front foot. Really push down into your big toe mound. Use that as leverage to pull your knee in towards you. 
And that front leg, really stretching, really active. And now notice your back leg. Gently push into the top of your back foot. Lighten your kneecap, maybe lift it up off the floor. Set it back a little bit further. And then relax your knee into the floor. Now squeeze your right butt cheek. Notice a little more activation in your inner groin area, quads. One more deep breath here and then move into your half or full splits variation. Square your hips up right to left. If you're in half splits, you're bowing over your extended leg. If you're in full or working on full splits, and keep your chest upright. Still work to square up your hips. Push your right hip point forward, pull your left hip crease back. So you get that scissoring action of your legs. Release and come to a seat. We're gonna do double pigeon. Start with your right shin down. Flex your right foot. Align your right, the front of your right shin so it's parallel with the front of your mat. And then stack your left foot on top of your right knee. You may have a lot of space between your top knee and your bottom ankle. You might be like, uh-uh, this isn't happening. So there's um, some options for modification. You can place your top ankle forward on a block or on something just to elevate it a bit. You can sit up on a block to give your hips a little more space. From here, you can sit tall or start to bow forward over your shins. So probably a lot of sensation in your hips here. Still nice, smooth breaths, noticing your breath, noticing if it's getting tight or hitched, bumpy. Just try to smooth it out. Just that awareness of smooth breath can bring calm to your whole body. Sit upright, stretch your legs out in front of you. Bounce your knees a bit and then switch legs. Left leg on the bottom, right leg on top.
Sit upright, stretch your legs out, mount your knees. And then we're gonna move into a calf smash. So come to your hands and knees, like tabletop. And then knees hip width apart. Spin your right shin across the top of your left calf, right around the meaty part of it, right? So upper part of your calf. And then you're gonna sit back, walk your hands back and sit back gently on that. So you're creating a little vice grip with your left leg and um, your right shin is right there pressing on your calf muscle. You may find a spot that's hmm, a lot of sensation, right? You might find a spot that feels like a knot. You don't have to put all your weight on it. Just sit back as much uh, weight as is tolerable, right? So you're feeling a lot of sensation. That's a good thing, right? We get a lot of lactic acid built up in calves, really common. And then just holding off that blood flow just for a minute or two can create a, a great opening and rush of blood through that muscle tissue when we release. So just a couple more smooth breaths. And then switch out your legs. Take your time to find your sweet spot, right? If you sit back and it's just like, this is nothing, search for something that is something, right? That you're feeling something. Find that spot, gently lean into it. All right, release that side. I want you to take a down dog just to paddle out through your heels. And stretch out your calf muscles. And you may notice that you can push your heels a little closer to your mat, lift and fan your toes. And now come through your hands, come onto your back and take an inversion of your choice. So legs up the wall is um, a nice restorative pose. You can take, uh, I see Liz going for her headstand. Like what's, what's your practice? What are you working on? Or what sounds like a great last pose before you rest in Shavasana? Take that.
And now make your way into Shavasana. Set any props to the side. Adjust yourself so you can just relax in stillness. Uh, we got about four more minutes, so relax, including your breathing. Just let everything soften. Take a nice deep awakening breath. And make your way onto your right side. I come up to a seated position. And bring your palms together. Lift your thumb knuckles to your forehead. We honor the light in each other. And together we say, Namaste. Good work, yogis.